Hello, and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Those of you who watched Leviticus 3 may have seen a legal notice in the end credits. Basically this. It means that you are legally free to make use of any episode of the Daily Vision Bible as you may need to. You don't even need my permission. All I personally request is that you use it to let others know of the message of the Bible in a way that is pleasing to God. Today is Leviticus chapter 4. We're beginning to look at sin offerings again. Let's, in, let's open God's word with prayer, shall we? Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, that you come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 4. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, If anyone sins unintentionally in any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and does any one of them, if the anointed priest sins, so as to bring guilt on the people, then let him offer for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bull without the fact, to Yahweh for his sin offering. He shall bring the bull to the door at the tent of meeting before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the bull, and kill the bull before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall take some of the blood of the bull, and bring it to the tent of the meeting. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle some of the blood, seven times before Yahweh, through the veil of the sanctuary. The priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of meeting. And he shall pour out all of the rest of the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall take all the fat of the bull of the sin offering off from it, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver. With the kidneys he shall take away, as it is taken off the bull, of the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall burn them on the altar of burnt offering, the bull skin, all its meat, with its head, and with its legs, its innards, and its dung, it shall carry the whole bull outside of the camp to a clean place, where the ashes are poured out, and burn it on wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, it shall be burned. If the whole congregation of Israel sins, and the thing is hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and are guilty, when the sin in which they have sinned is known, then the assembly shall offer a young bull for a sin offering, and bring it before the tent of meeting. The elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahweh, and the bull shall be killed before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall bring of the blood of the bull to the tent of meeting, and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before Yahweh before the veil. He shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar which is before Yahweh, that is the tent of meeting. And the rest of the blood he shall pour out of the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. All its fat he shall take from it, and burn it on the altar. Thus shall he do with the bull, as he did with the bull of the sin offering. So shall he do with this. And the priest shall make atonement for them, and they shall be forgiven. He shall carry the bull outside the camp, and burn it as he burned the first bull. It says this an offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins, and unwittingly does, any one of all the things which Yahweh is God has commanded not to be done, and is guilty, if his sin in which he has sinned is made known to him, he shall bring as his offering a goat, a male without the fat. He shall lay his hand on the head of the goat, and kill it in the place where they killed the burnt offering before Yahweh. It is a sin offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar burnt offering. He shall pour out the rest of its blood at the base of the altar burnt offering. All its fat shall burn on the altar, like the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin, and he will be forgiven. If anyone of the common people sins unwittingly, and doing any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and is guilty, 
if a sin which he has sinned is made known to him, then he shall bring for his offering a goat, a female without the fact, for a sin which he has sinned. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and kill the sin offering in the place of burnt offering. The priest shall take some of its blood or his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and the rest of its blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat is taken away from off the sacrifice or peace offerings, and the priest shall burn it on the altar for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, and the priest shall make atonement for him, and he will be forgiven. If he brings a lamb as his offering for a sin offering, he shall bring a female without the fat. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and kill it for a sin offering, in the place where they kill the burnt offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and all the rest of its blood he shall pour out over the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall burn them on the altar, and the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned, and he will forgiven.